is Yolanda Renee again with a hair tutorial but of course you guys know I'm still rocking my wigs honey yes so today I decided to do a wine curls tutorial to get these effortless curls almost waves so if you're interested stay tuned just a quick video let me know if you guys like these quick videos like this where I just show you just random stuff like it's not like a full-on like tutorial it's not all long and detailed but I just wanted to share that I was curling my hair this is a little gadget so you can apply this onto the tabletop and that way you can put your wig head right on top so once your wig head is on here you can like move her head you can move her head around once it's on here and it spins as well like you'll be able to spin it it's just hard to spin without the head being on here but yeah this thing is helpful it's very inexpensive I think it was like $7.99 that's it $7.99 at Sally's you'll also need a styrofoam head and I got this from Sally's too here are the curlers that I use. This is a wine curler and it's by Hot Tools. First of all, I just love it because it's super cute. Um, but also, it gets really hot. You can control um, the nozzle. You can put how hot you want it to be. There's an on and an off switch. And yeah, and this handle is very, very comfortable. It's very, very comfortable. Now let's get right into it. Again, this video is going to be so short. The first tip I want to give you is to take medium to large sections and that will give you that more flawless loose curl instead of having like Shirley Temple curls. Another tip is to place the wine horizontal. That way you won't have any slip ups. I don't know about you, but wine curlers, usually if I'm holding it any other way, it just falls off and it's just a disaster and then I have to recurl. So doing it horizontal will kind of eliminate that from happening. Some other styling tips, which I obviously did not do. You can use a glove on this hand over here that's holding the little end piece. That way you won't burn your hand. And also use a um, heat protectant even on your wigs because, I mean, if you're spending money on these wigs, you don't wanna ruin them. So just like your hair, you need to protect them. Also, hold the curl in your hand until it cools off and you can feel that it's cooled off in your hand. That way the curl is more in place, um, even though we're gonna brush them out later, but still. <laughs> Now we are done all of the curls and now what we're going to do is basically finger detangle and rake these curls out because again we don't want that Shirley Temple look. We want more of like a beach wave um, type of style. So I always finger detangle first and then I'll go in with a brush to make it even more elongated. Um, and as you can see um, this, the side I'm working on looks completely different than the other side that I have not touched. Um, but both, I mean, both styles are cute, but the look we're going for is more of a wavy look. So what do you guys think? To add some volume, you can also use the brush to basically tease upwards and not really tease, but you're just lifting the curl up just a little bit. And then you're going to kind of detangle the top layer. That'll give it a lot of volume. So as you can see, it looks completely different from this side and the side I didn't touch yet. And I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you're wondering what I have on my lips, I have a MAC Cork Lip Liner, Too Faced Melted, this is a bomb lipstick. This is my third um, container. This one is in the color sugar, but it's really good. The formula is amazing. And then I usually don't wear gloss, but lately I've been wanting to wear gloss, especially with this nude lip. Um, this is NYX, and this one is also called Sugar. Well, actually it's called Sugar Pie, and it's so bomb. I love it. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy 
watching me curl my hair and this is the elfin hair um i made this wig myself i will link that video somewhere up in here so you can go check that out on how i made this wig i think the video was really really good even if you don't buy elfin hair um i think that my tutorial is really nice so you can learn how to make your own wig i to mention that i actually bleached the knots of this wig well actually it's just the a closure and I bleached it after the fact obviously because I haven't been bleaching any of my wigs but someone mentioned it in my last wig video so I decided to go get the products and try it and it works out okay I'm gonna go get the products that I use to bleach it and then I think I'm gonna do a tutorial on my next video on how to bleach knots but thank you guys so much for watching this quick video and I will see you in my next one